How does Kim Jong-un's North Korea affect the stability and politics of its neighboring countries? In this video, we explore the profound influence of one of the most enigmatic nations on Earth. We'll delve into North Korea's political, economic, military, and humanitarian impacts on South Korea, China, Japan, and in Russia. Join us as we dissect the significant ways North Korea shapes the regional and global dynamics, from its unpredictable military strategies, its controversial nuclear ambitions. Stay tuned as we analyze the deep and intricate effects of North Korea on its surrounding nations and the broader implications for international relations. Before delving into the current political tensions and diplomatic maneuvers, it's crucial to understand the origins of Korea's division, which set the stage for ongoing conflict and complex international relations. The Korean Peninsula, split into North and South Korea at the end of World War II, became the battleground for competing ideologies during the Korean War, from 1950 to 1953. This war, involving the United States and China, entrenched the divide and set the framework for future diplomatic and military tensions. In the contemporary era, under Kim Jong-un's regime, North Korea has continued to be a focal point of regional instability and diplomacy. The leadership's unpredictable strategies have led to a series of summits and peace talks, most notably with South Korea and the United States. Despite these efforts, incidents of aggression such as missile launches and military parades frequently disrupt peace initiatives and provoke international concern. South Korea, caught between a desire for peaceful reunification and the reality of continuous threats, navigates a delicate path influenced heavily by public opinion and political pressures. The South's strategy oscillates between engagement, exemplified by the inter-Korean summits, and bolstering its defense capabilities against potential northern provocations. Turning our gaze to China, we see a cornerstone ally to North Korea. Sharing a long border and ideological similarities, China has been indispensable in keeping North Korea's economy afloat amidst international sanctions. However, China's position is nuanced, as it seeks to prevent any regional instability that could result from North Korean actions. This balancing act involves providing economic aid to North Korea while participating in international diplomatic efforts to denuclearize the region. Japan's relationship with North Korea is marred by unresolved issues such as the abduction of Japanese citizens and frequent missile tests over Japanese territory. These provocations have forced Japan to increase its defense spending and reconsider its post-World War II pacifist stance, all while attempting to engage North Korea diplomatically to resolve these long-standing tensions. Lastly, Russia's involvement with North Korea dates back to the Soviet era, providing another layer of complexity to the geopolitical dynamics in East Asia. Post-Cold War, Russia has continued to maintain economic and military ties with North Korea, participating in multilateral talks and seeking to expand its influence in the region. As we move forward, understanding these historical and ongoing interactions will provide a clearer picture of why North Korea remains a pivotal yet challenging actor on the world stage. Stay tuned as we explore the hidden influences of North Korea in the next segment. As we peel back the layers of North Korea's diplomatic engagements, it's crucial to spotlight the military threats and security concerns that shape the geopolitical landscape of East Asia. North Korea's development of nuclear weapons remains a central issue, with its origins tracing back to the late 20th century. Despite numerous international sanctions and diplomatic efforts, North Korea has advanced its nuclear capabilities, conducting several tests that have escalated tensions across the region. South Korea and Japan, the immediate neighbors, have been particularly vocal and active in their responses. Both nations have ramped up their missile defense systems in response to North Korea's missile tests, which frequently chart trajectories over or near their territories. These tests not only serve as stark reminders of the potential military threat, but also test the preparedness and alliance between these countries and their global partners, particularly the United States. Military preparedness is not limited to nuclear capabilities. Incidents at the inter-Korean border, such as exchanges of fire and the deployment of propaganda via loudspeakers, underscore the volatile nature of the border security issues. Moreover, maritime disputes in the Yellow Sea have led to several naval confrontations, heightening the stakes in these contested waters. Another dimension of North Korea's military strategy is its burgeoning cyber capabilities. Known for orchestrating some of the most disruptive cyber attacks in recent history, 
North Korea's cyber warfare tactics have targeted institutions in South Korea, Japan, and beyond. These nations, in turn, are enhancing their cyber defenses, incorporating advanced technology to shield critical infrastructure and sensitive information. As we navigate through these tumultuous waters of military threats and security concerns, the responses from neighboring countries like China and Russia also play a significant role. Both nations have historically maintained a complex relationship with North Korea, providing economic aid and diplomatic support while simultaneously participating in international efforts to denuclearize the region. This delicate balance highlights the intricate and often contradictory roles these countries play in maintaining regional stability amidst rising military tensions. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the hidden influences that drive North Korea's actions on the international stage in the next segment. As we delve into the economic dimensions of North Korea's interactions with the world, it becomes clear that the nation's economy is as complex as it is clandestine. North Korea faces significant economic challenges exacerbated by international sanctions aimed at curtailing its nuclear ambitions. Despite these hardships, the country has developed unique adaptations to sustain its economy. One of the most notable adaptations is the emergence of extensive smuggling networks. These networks play a crucial role in North Korea's economy, facilitating the illicit trade of goods such as electronics, luxury items, and even necessary commodities. The economic implications of these networks extend beyond North Korea's borders, affecting neighboring countries by altering market dynamics and posing challenges to regional security efforts. Turning our focus to China, North Korea's largest and most critical economic supporter, we see a relationship that is pivotal, yet strained. China provides substantial economic aid, including food and energy assistance, which is vital for North Korea's survival. This support, however, is often leveraged as a political tool to influence North Korea's strategic decisions, particularly its nuclear policies. Humanitarian aid also plays a significant role in North Korea's economic landscape. South Korea, China, and various international organizations have provided aid, but the delivery and distribution of this aid are frequently influenced by political considerations. Changes in diplomatic relations can lead to sudden halts in aid, directly impacting the North Korean populace. Moreover, the economic ties between North Korea and its neighbors are further complicated by border trade with China and Russia. Special economic zones and cross-border trade initiatives have been established, aiming to boost North Korea's economy through legal trade channels. These zones are vital for North Korea's border economies, which heavily depend on the influx of goods and investments from China and Russia. As we explore these economic impacts, it becomes evident that North Korea's economic strategies are deeply intertwined with its political maneuvers, affecting not only its own citizens, but also the regional economic landscape in East Asia. Stay tuned as we continue to uncover the hidden influences that shape North Korea's actions on the international stage in the next segment. As we navigate the complexities of North Korea's geopolitical and economic landscape, it's imperative to shed light on a deeply humanitarian aspect the plight of North Korean defectors, and the pervasive human rights issues within the country. Every year, numerous North Koreans risk their lives to escape the oppressive regime, seeking refuge primarily through clandestine routes to China. These journeys are fraught with peril, as defectors face the constant threat of capture and severe punishment if repatriated. The most common escape routes involve crossing the Tumen or Yalu rivers into China, where the defectors must then evade Chinese authorities who are known to actively repatriate North Koreans. This policy reflects China's complex relationship with North Korea, balancing humanitarian concerns with diplomatic ties to Pyongyang. Once out of North Korea, the challenges for defectors do not cease. They must navigate a secretive network of safe houses and endure a perilous journey across multiple countries to reach safety in South Korea or other nations willing to grant asylum. South Korea, in response to the influx of defectors, has developed comprehensive resettlement programs. These initiatives aim to integrate North Koreans into South Korean society through education, job training, and psychological support. However, the transition is fraught with challenges, including cultural assimilation and social discrimination. The human rights abuses within North Korea remain stark and are a significant driver for defection. Reports from international organizations and defector testimonies paint a grim picture of widespread torture, forced labor, and arbitrary detention. 
Efforts to address these human rights violations are often hindered by North Korea's isolation and reluctance to allow international scrutiny. As we continue to explore the economic and political facets of North Korea's global interactions, understanding the human rights landscape and the stories of those who flee the regime is crucial. These issues not only affect regional stability, but also raise urgent questions about the international community's role in advocating for and protecting human rights. Join us as we delve deeper into the hidden influences that shape North Korea's actions on the international stage in the next segment. In the intricate web of Northeast Asian politics, the six-party talks stand out as a pivotal initiative aimed at denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula and reducing regional tensions. Initiated in 2003, these talks brought together North Korea, South Korea, Japan, China, Russia, and the United States, marking a significant attempt at cooperative diplomacy in the region. Despite initial optimism, the talks faced numerous challenges that led to their eventual stall in 2009. The primary reasons for the breakdown include North Korea's continued nuclear development and testing, which was seen as a direct violation of the spirit of the talks. Additionally, the fluctuating diplomatic priorities of the involved nations often led to conflicting agendas, further complicating negotiations. Amidst these diplomatic complexities, other regional security dialogues have attempted to fill the void. The ASEAN Regional Forum, ARF for instance, has played a crucial role in fostering open discussions on security issues in Asia. Although not exclusively focused on North Korea, the ARF provides a platform where North Korean concerns can indirectly be addressed, promoting stability and security through confidence building and preventive diplomacy. The United Nations has also been instrumental in facilitating dialogue and conflict resolution. Through various resolutions and sanctions, the UN Security Council has sought to both pressure North Korea to return to diplomacy and ensure compliance with international norms. However, the effectiveness of these measures has often been questioned as geopolitical realities on the ground continue to evolve. As we navigate the complex landscape of diplomacy and conflict in Northeast Asia, the role of these multilateral talks and forums becomes increasingly crucial. They not only serve as mechanisms for conflict resolution, but also as beacons of hope for a stable and secure regional future. Join us as we next explore the hidden influences that shape North Korea's actions on the international stage. In the enigmatic realm of North Korea, propaganda is not just a tool of the state. It is an integral part of the societal fabric. North Korea's government utilizes propaganda to shape the perceptions and behaviors of its citizens, promoting a narrative of resilience, self-reliance, and unwavering loyalty to the leadership. From monumental statues and murals glorifying the ruling Kim family, to tightly controlled media that broadcasts only government-approved content. The impact of this propaganda on North Korean society is profound and pervasive. As we turn our gaze outward, the perception of North Korea by its neighboring countries is markedly different. To South Korea, Japan, China, and Russia, North Korea often appears as a reclusive neighbor, unpredictable and occasionally provocative. The leadership under Kim Jong-un, with its nuclear ambitions and military displays, has fostered a complex mixture of apprehension and diplomatic caution among these nations. Despite the tensions, there have been notable instances of cultural exchanges that offer a glimpse of potential reconciliation and mutual understanding. Concerts by South Korean musicians in Pyongyang and the participation of North Korean athletes in international sports events are such examples where cultural diplomacy has opened channels for dialogue and interaction, albeit limited and highly controlled. These cultural interactions, while sporadic, play a crucial role in softening diplomatic relations and providing a platform for engagement beyond the political and military realms. They remind us that beneath the veneer of politics and propaganda, there is a shared cultural and historical lineage that binds the people of the Korean Peninsula and the broader region. As we explore the shadows and nuances of how North Korea projects itself internally and externally, it becomes clear that culture and propaganda are not only tools of governance, but are also essential in the intricate dance of diplomacy and perception on the international stage. Join us as we next uncover the hidden influences that shape North Korea's actions on this complex geopolitical chessboard.
In the digital age, technology plays a pivotal role in both isolating and connecting nations. North Korea presents a unique case where technology is tightly controlled and used as a means of both suppression and international outreach. Inside North Korea, the internet is almost non-existent for the general population, replaced by a state-controlled intranet called Kwang Myong. This intranet is limited to government-approved information and locally developed content, ensuring that the flow of information remains under strict surveillance. Despite these restrictions, North Korea has developed a sophisticated cyber warfare unit, known as Bureau 121, which employs an estimated 6,000 hackers. These hackers are tasked with everything from cyber espionage to financially motivated attacks, targeting banks, institutions, and critical infrastructure worldwide. This paradoxical use of technology underscores North Korea's strategy to engage with the world on its own terms, often breaching international norms. On the flip side, the limited use of smuggled smartphones along the Chinese border allows some North Koreans a glimpse of the outside world, though at great personal risk. These devices are often used to access South Korean media, giving a select few citizens a vastly different perspective on the world beyond their borders. As technology evolves, so too does the landscape of international diplomacy and conflict. North Korea's dual use of technology as both a shield to control its population and a sword in international cyber conflicts presents a complex challenge for global cybersecurity and diplomacy. This digital dichotomy plays a crucial role in shaping North Korea's international relations and its internal dynamics making it an essential piece of the puzzle in understanding this secluded nation. Join us as we next uncover the hidden influences that shape North Korea's actions on this complex geopolitical chessboard. How does Kim Jong-un's North Korea shape the political landscape and diplomatic relations in East Asia? North Korea under Kim Jong-un's regime continues to deepen the historical divide on the Korean Peninsula, a consequence of the Korean War and the ensuing Cold War geopolitics. This video will delve into the intricate dance of diplomacy and tension that defines North Korea's interactions with its neighbors, South Korea, China, Japan, and Russia. In examining political tensions and diplomacy, we uncover how North Korea's provocative military actions and enigmatic political strategies under Kim Jong-un have led to several summits and peace talks, yet also incidents of aggression that unsettled the region. South Korea, in response, juggles between engagement and maintaining robust defense policies, often swayed by public opinion and political pressures. Focusing on China-North Korea relations, we explore their long-standing alliance shaped by shared communist ideologies. China, as North Korea's key economic lifeline and strategic ally, performs a balancing act supporting North Korea while also engaging with the international community to stabilize regional tension. Turning to Japan-North Korea relations, we see a complex narrative of unresolved historical tensions, highlighted by issues such as abductions and missile tests. These provocations have a direct impact on Japan's security policies and defense spending, pushing Japan to seek ways to engage diplomatically, yet prepare militarily. Lastly, our segment on Russia-North Korea relations traces the evolution Soviet-era influences to current economic and military ties. We discuss Russia's strategic interests in the region, including its role in the six-party talks and efforts to extend its influence in East Asian geopolitics. Join us as we dissect how North Korea, under the shadowy rule of Kim Un, not only sustains its own regime, but also significantly affects the geopolitical dynamics of East Asia. Military threat and security concerns. North Korea's development of nuclear weapons began in earnest following the Korean War, positioning itself as a significant regional threat the nuclear program has evolved with several nuclear tests being conducted since the early 2000s, raising global alarms. These developments have triggered varied responses from neighboring countries. South Korea and Japan have heightened their military readiness and bolstered their defense systems, incorporating advanced missile defense technologies like Thaad and Aegis Ashore systems. China and Russia have sought diplomatic solutions while also preparing for potential regional instability. North Korea has conducted numerous missile tests, with trajectories often passing over Japan, escalating tensions and prompting emergency responses in affected regions. This aggressive posturing has pushed South Korea and Japan to conduct joint military drills and enhance their surveillance and intelligence capabilities. At the inter-Korean border, there have been several incidents that have heightened tensions, including exchanges of fire and the defection of North Korean soldiers, which have prompted South Korea to increase its border security measures. 
Maritime disputes in the Yellow Sea have also escalated tensions with frequent confrontations between North and South Korean naval vessels. These conflicts underscore the broader security concerns in the region. Furthermore, North Korea's advancement in cyber capabilities has led to numerous cyber attacks aimed at South Korea, Japan, and other nations disrupting governmental and commercial operations. In response, these countries have significantly invested in strengthening their cyber defenses to thwart such attacks, developing more robust cybersecurity protocols, and engaging in international cooperation to enhance cyber resilience. The economic repercussions of North Korea's nuclear ambitions extend far beyond military considerations, influencing various facets of regional economies. The tightened sanctions have spurred an increase in smuggling networks that operate across the North Korean borders. These illicit activities not only fuel the North Korean economy, but also impact the economies of neighboring countries by creating unstable markets and promoting illegal activities. China, as North Korea's largest trading partner and economic supporter, plays crucial role in sustaining the North Korean regime through various means despite international pressure. This support ranges from direct economic aid to facilitating special economic zones along the border, which are pivotal for North Korea's trade and economic activities. These zones not only help sustain the North Korean economy, but also allow China to exert influence in the region. Humanitarian aid from countries like South Korea, China, and various international organizations is a critical component of the international response to the humanitarian crises in North Korea, often exacerbated by economic sanctions. However, the delivery of this aid is frequently influenced by political considerations, with donor countries balancing the need to provide humanitarian assistance against the risk of indirectly supporting North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Furthermore, border trade with China and Russia remains a vital lifeline for North Korea. Special economic zones and cross-border trade initiatives have been established to facilitate legal and sometimes semi-legal trade that supports the North Korean economy. These economic interactions are crucial for the survival of North Korea's border economies, heavily reliant on the goods and investments flowing from China and Russia. These relationships underscore a complex web of economic dependencies that complicate the geopolitical landscape of the region. Beyond politics and military power, North Korea's socioeconomic conditions have significantly influenced the human rights landscape both within and outside its borders. The stark realities faced by North Korean defectors highlight the severe human rights issues prevalent in the country. Common routes for defectors typically involve perilous journeys through China, where they risk harsh treatment and repatriation. These escapees often face severe dangers such as exploitation, arrest, and forced return, which can lead to imprisonment or worse upon their return to North Korea. Neighboring countries have varied responses to the influx of North Korean refugees. South Korea, for instance, has established comprehensive resettlement programs to aid defectors in adapting to a new offering everything from accommodation to employment support. In stark contrast, China's policy focuses on the repatriation of North Koreans, often citing its agreement with North Korea to combat illegal immigration, despite international criticism regarding the violation of refugee rights. Reports of human rights abuses within North Korea continue to surface, depicting a grim reality of torture, forced labor, and severe restrictions on freedom of expression. These reports have prompted neighboring countries and international organizations to rethink their strategies and increase efforts to address these serious issues. Efforts include diplomatic pressures, human rights advocacy, and in some cases, sanctions aimed specifically at entities involved in perpetuating human rights abuses. Through these dynamics, the plight of North Korean defectors and the country's human rights record not only affect regional security, but also pose ethical and humanitarian challenges that ripple across borders, impacting international relations and human rights policies globally. Regional Cooperation and Conflict, Four Minutes. Overview of the Six-Party Talks and Key Outcomes. The Six-Party Talks involving North and South Korea, the United States, China, Japan, and Russia were pivotal in addressing North Korea's nuclear program. These discussions led to significant agreements aimed at denuclearization and the provision of aid to North Korea in exchange for disarmament, challenges, reasons for the breakdown of talks and ongoing diplomatic efforts. Despite early successes, the talks faced obstacles such as mutual distrust and differing strategic interests, eventually stalling. Ongoing diplomatic efforts continue to seek a revival of dialogue and a sustainable resolution. Regional Security Dialogues, Role of ASEAN Regional Forum, ARF, 
and other regional security dialogues. The ARF plays a crucial role in promoting security and peace in the Asia-Pacific region. It offers a platform for North Korea and its neighbors to engage in dialogue and manage tensions. Other regional security initiatives also contribute to these efforts by fostering a collaborative approach to security challenges. UN involvement, United Nations role in facilitating dialogue and conflict resolution. The United Nations has been instrumental in facilitating international dialogue on North Korea. It provides a framework for conflict resolution and sanctions aimed at encouraging North Korea to participate in peace talks and adhere to international norms. If you enjoyed this exploration of geopolitical dynamics and the impact on global peace, don't forget to subscribe to our channel History Documentary for more insightful content.